Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net December 2018 and we are doing this problem 5 of section A. So this problem is a problem of general aptitude. Let us have a look. Percentage wise distribution of all science students in a university is given in the pi, pi diagram. The bar chart shows the distribution of physics students in different sub areas where a student takes one and only one sub area. What percentage of the total science students is girls studying in the quantum mechanics? So this is your problem. In the problem, see you have this, uh, this uh, pie chart representing the total science students. So this pie chart represents total science students out of which 20% belongs to physics. Are, are you getting my point? So 20% student has taken physics and in this physics section you have these sub areas. So you have astrophysics, you have quantum mechanics, you have optics and you have last one is others. So see we have total science student represented by this pie chart and this uh, this sector of this circle represents total physics students out of these total physics students every physics student is going to take one sub area so these sub areas are astrophysics quantum mechanics optics and others so what we have to do is this we have to find out percentage of the total science students all right is girls studying quantum mechanics so we have to find out percentage of to of the total science students uh, to the girls studying quantum mechanics now let us uh, try to draw this pie chart all right uh, in a big big way now see i have drawn this pie chart in a bigger way now see you have these subjects earth science physics maths chemistry and biology so i am representing them here this is let us say earth science this is biology and this is chemistry and this is maths so this sector that we have over here this sector consists of physics students all right this sector consists of physics students are you getting my point now what i did i just made partitions of this physics student among these astro astrophysics quantum mechanics so let us say this one is representing astrophysics this one is representing quantum mechanics this one is representing representing optics and this one is representing others part so these are the actually five subdivisions these are the five sub areas in which a student can choose their subjects now see we have this how much is this this is 20 percent 20 percent of the total students have physics all right and among these 20 percent you have 150 students all right 150 students are girls in this uh, in this uh, pie chart we have this sorry not in the pie chart in this bar bar chart we have this shaded region of girls and this plain region is of boys. So 150 bo girls and 250, uh, 250 boys are going to take astrophysics. So 250 boys are going to take astrophysics and 150 girls are ta taking, uh, taking uh, astrophysics. Now the quantum mechanics you have 160 girls. In the quantum mechanics you have 160 girls and 190 uh, um, boys in the optics part you have 170 170 uh, girls and 330 boys now in the others part you have 100 girls and 250 boys all right what you have to do you have to find out the percentage of quantum mechanics girls all right from the from where from the total students in this pie chart 
so firstly what is our aim our aim is to calculate how many students are there in the physics section so in the physics section we have 250 students plus 150 let me add so students in physics so in physics how many students do we have 250 plus 150 these are the students of astrophysics then we have quantum mechanics so 160 plus 190 then we have 170 plus 330 we are calculating how many students are in the physics section so these are these numbers of students are in the physics section so if you will add them up what you will get is 1600 all right now this 1600 this area actually represents 1600 students and it is 20% of the total area. So what should be the total students? Total science students. Science students. Total science students will be. See. 20% of the total science students is physics students. It means that when you will multiply this thing with what. Uh, let me do it properly. All right so see i have all right so see i have written that 20 percent of the total science students is physics students so it means that when you will multiply 1600 this how many physics students do we have the value of physics student is 1600 multiplied let us multiply it here 100 by 20 so you will get total students total students so total students will be 600 into 100 by 20 which is 8000 are you getting my point so we have calculated that 8000 students are the total science student you have to find out the percentage of the girls taking quantum mechanics we have to find out this percentage all right so uh, percentage of girls taking quantum mechanics will be all right from the from where you are finding out the percentage total science students so it will be 8000 all right 8000 the total one all right and how many girls do we have we have in the quantum mechanics we have 160 girls into 100 this is what we are doing all right so what you will get from here you will get two percent from here are you getting my point so this thing is when you will calculate it you will get two percent as your answer so two percent of the girl in the quantum mechanics section lies here got it so this is how we can actually solve this problem this problem is nothing else you just have to uh, understand this word that this is this word i am talking about this word that a student takes one and only one sub area and then you have to understand that you ha you are finding out the percentage of girls st student studying quantum mechanics from the total science students so the only thing is that you need to understand this line and this line and then you are done with the question all right so because you are finding out the to uh, finding out the percentage of the girls student to the total science students you don't have see you don't have total number of science students given to you but what is given to you is the total physics students so using total physics student you can find out total science students and using total science students you can find out the percentage of the girls taking quantum mechanics so this is what you have to do all right so if you have any doubt regarding this problem you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you